Hi folks, welcome again to the channel Juan here from Physical Media EU. Today we want to review this Umbrella Entertainment release of Kids of 1995. Hello again and thanks for tuning in for another Blu-ray review, in this case Kids directed by Larry Clark. But before we start I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you're interested in physical media, especially Blu-ray reviews and also soundtracks on vinyls as you can see back here. You can also find me on Instagram with the same handle Physical Media EU, where I post little pictures of all the items that I review. Now, yes, let's begin with the review of this release. I apologize for the ring uh, reflection, but that's why I post uh, pictures on Instagram. This is a very standard release. So on the front cover, we have the the original poster while with the four faces of the protagonist with the four colors. On the back, yeah, another picture of the of the cast here. Then this poster you can see here is of the documentary We Were Once Kids. We will talk about it a little later on, on the video. Then there is some, some details about the movie and also some technical details about the Blu-ray and the special features. Now, if we open this one up, we find the Blu-ray disc. You can see there. And then on this side, it's just the same as on the back. That's because it's a reversible cover. Just because um, down here, it has the, the age, rest age restriction. And there here in the cover, you actually don't have it. So when you buy it, it comes with the badge uh, here on the front. But of course, yeah, I flipped it and I got the, the clean cover here. So let's begin with the picture quality. This is a movie that already had a Blu-ray release, although it was not very widespread. I think it only came out through um, a German label. And in my case, this was an upgrade from the DVD. I didn't have the, the other Blu-ray. That's it. I couldn't find anywhere online about if this is a new restoration or not. So that makes me think that it's actually the same as before. And using some of these websites that compare screenshots across releases, for for kids they only had a comparison between the blu-ray and the old dvd and on those websites they also didn't have this version to compare so that's another reason that makes me believe that uh, this is just the same uh, transfer as before and by looking at the at the screenshots of the blu-ray actually looks very similar to this one so i believe that it has to be th the same with that said the upgrade from the dvd is huge it's huge the DVD had some color grading that was very inaccurate, kind of like yellowish, that that was removed on, on the Blu-ray, and now it looks much more real. At the same time, the, the colors were uh, tuned up, so the image looks so much nicer than before. At the same time, even though this movie was filmed on film back in the mid 90s, the image is not very sharp. So I imagine or, or guess that maybe the cameras, the source that they used back in the day was not that good for, for, for this film. So that's actually not very corrected in, in the Blu-ray, but still the movie looks so much better than it did back in the Blu-ray. Now moving to the audio track, it just has um, the original language, English on Master Audio uh, DTHSD 5.1. And this movie has an, a very nice soundtrack that is worth experiencing in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a good audio track. At the same time, most of the movie happens on, on outdoor scenarios. And I think those scenes actually sound very good in this audio track. So I will give it a thumbs up. I think it's, it's, um, it's a very good one. Besides that, it's also important to mention that um, this release has only English subtitles. And uh, here you can see, as it's happening with uh, most Umbrella releases, uh, it has the badge for um, Region B of the Blu-ray. But in reality, Umbrella doesn't lock their Blu-rays, so it should work well in, in other regions without any problem. Additionally, we have to talk about the special features, so let me read those for you very quick. First of all, it has an extra audio track with a commentary of uh, author and film historian Alexandra Helen Nicholas. Also has um, TV spots, trailers, a featurette with um, Queen Cardona, who was supposed to be, uh, or the, um, the, the, the main character of the movie is based on him. I, I think he was supposed to be uh, himself in the movie but in the end it was decided that actually like a real actor should should take um, his role and lastly and most important in my opinion as featured here in the cover includes the we were once kids documentary is also featured here on the back in this uh, th this poster so 
before talking about the documentary, we have to to acknowledge um, that this movie has been very controversial, released in the in the mid nineties, and it portrays relationship of teenagers with sex and drugs, and it's actually very explicit about these things. And being that the characters in the movie are underage, it was quite controversial back in the day. So this documentary was actually made a few years ago. It's much more modern. Uh, it premiered in Tribeca Festival, I think in uh, 2021, and it has a lot of interviews with those actors or people that participated in the movie back, back then in the current day and how it was their experience to work with Larry Clark and participate in this movie. In, in this project, Larry Clark had a lot of first-time actors, but the main characters, as you can see here in the cover, I'm not sure if you get to recognize any of them, just to, to, to name them. We have Rosario Dawson, Chloe Sevigny, uh, Justin Pierce, and, and Leo Fitzpatrick. Leo Fitzpatrick participated also in the following movie Larry Clark did after this one, Bully, which, by the way, is also coming out to Umbrella Entertainment. It hasn't released yet, but it's supposed to come in the upcoming months. So yeah, these three actors became good, but unfortunately, Justin Pierce had a tougher career after this movie and committed suicide, I think it was in the year 2000. So that's a big topic that is going over in this, this documentary about how it was his life after making this movie. At the same time, even though the movie became a success, they didn't get paid in relation to the success. So, so they just got petty cash when they did the movie and that was it. So I thought it was interesting to hear this other perspective about how they lived filming the movie and also how they feel about it today. It's important to note as, as well at the end of the documentary, they say that tried, they tried to contact uh, Larry Clark and, 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 and also have his voice about it, but he didn't want to participate in it. Now about the commentary audio track, I thought that in, 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 this is one of those audio tracks that you don't necessarily need to listen to it while watching the movie. It was almost like like a like a podcast I would say and I feel like for the most part it was questioning the the morals of the movie which of course are very regrettable but this is seen in hindsight right like almost three decades after the movie came out so he's taking an already controversial movie through the lens of current day and I think that didn't help the movie much now I always like to talk about other releases in this case, Umbrella released several versions of this movie. The first of them, as you can see up here, is the Complete Collector's Limited Edition, which um, has um, a booklet, postcards, a special slipcase, and so on. V very cool version. But unfortunately, those special editions are sold only through their website. So in, in my case, being in Europe, those are very expensive to get because they don't add a VAT on their website so you have to pay all those things when it comes here and the price adds up very fast. Besides that version there was also um, th this same copy with a slipcase which also sold, sold out eventually and I got this version more recently and uh, sadly it, it didn't come with, with a slipcover. Now some of those versions you can get uh, on eBay but the prices are crazy especially for, for that collector's edition it's like nuts. But if you just want to have the movie and don't mind having a standard version. In my case, I got it through a French website that I don't want to mention because I actually had a bad experience with them. Uh, I, I made a bigger order and like things didn't go too well and like super delay and everything. Finally, I get this version, but not everything went as it should have uh, in, in, in that order. But yeah, so I'm just not gonna name them. But there are several websites where you can get this, this release. So the biggest difference between this release and the old Blu-ray that was out there is basically the extras. The new audio commentary that's completely new and also the addition of the documentary here that's also newer and uh, it came out after the, the previous Blu-ray. So those are things that are obviously are not in the previous one and that's a very good reason to get this release. And that was it for the review. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that I will post detailed pictures of this release on Instagram physical media eu and i would love to hear from you on the comments if you have watched this movie what do you think of it if you have this release or if you're trying to get one of the other umbrella releases thank you so much for watching and see you all at okie dogs